in today's video. Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Come along on this fun YouTube journey of ours. If you guys are new, we just moved from Nebraska down to Florida and this was the kitchen of the house that we bought. And this is where we were last week when the video ended. And today we have a bunch to get done. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this with grout as the first step. Well, the next step, if you will. Uh, I picked this up at Lowe's. I think it was about $55 for this big bucket. And you guys, it was enough to do our entire kitchen or the backsplash that is. Plus, we had some tiles that we had to replace on the floor um, that we also used the same grout. Even though, yes, I know it doesn't match the current grout of the floor, but we made it work. And honestly, we actually debated on doing a gray as opposed to this like creamy white. Um, did I say the name was Avalanche? I don't remember. But anyway, we debated on doing gray. However, uh, we had already opened this, bought it, opened it. And quite honestly, I just, I didn't want to spend the extra money. So we went ahead and went with it and I am so glad we did. I do want to make a note here, guys. We are not professionals by any means. This is the very first time that we have done anything like this. Uh, Fred or I both. Fred is my husband. Uh, yeah, this is the first time for both of us doing anything like this. And basically, we are YouTube educated. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and TikTok videos. Uh, and then we just kind of jumped in with both feet so <laughs> um it started off a little bit rough i really was like oh my goodness i was really like what are we doing i don't know if i should be doing this but by the time we got to the other side of the kitchen i was like this is easy peasy lemon squeezy we got it under control and it turned out great something about you i like about you i like you're crazy for saying i should slow down but maybe i'm escaping the love we found there's something about you something about you i like about you i like i get too drunk and too scared and So the only thing I think I would change is making sure that I had a better quality sponge. Uh, this little yellow sponge that came with this, or, it, or that I was using, came with the grout. And quite honestly, it was cheap. <laughs> uh, it was basically falling apart by the time we were done. Uh, we, Like I said, we did, we did buy some better sponges however they have grown legs and it disappeared i have searched high and low and i cannot find them so but honestly that's the only thing i think i would change i think overall this grout was great i would definitely recommend it um to any newbie and yeah i i don't know i thought it was pretty easy to use uh it looks nice and I don't know if it holds up well, but we'll find out. Die. 
die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better yet Okay y'all, help me out I am curious what you guys think we spent on this kitchen. Uh, if you haven't seen previous videos, because I know that I have said some pricing for some of the items. Uh, so I'm just curious though, if you haven't seen those videos or if you don't remember, comment down below. Let me know how much you think we spent uh, overall, tile, counters, cabinets, poles, everything. I'm just curious. Um, I'm also curious, you know, what the, this cost what this kitchen would cost in other countries and other areas of the United States, stuff like that. Uh, those kinds of things just interest me. So anyway, go ahead and leave your comment down below and make sure you're subscribed because I will be giving a final cost uh, in next week's video. I'm so excited for you guys to see this all done. Um, but yes, we do have one more video for the kitchen. You will see that next weekend, next Saturday. It'll be a final reveal, but it also, not only is it a finishing touch on the kitchen, but the dining room. Uh, if you don't know, they are basically one room. I was going to say one big room, but it's not a big room. It's actually really small. Uh, but definitely, definitely come back. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Um, I do have another question though for you guys. I know lots of questions. I'm sorry. Uh, but we debated on putting a shelf above the sink. I, I have found pictures on Pinterest that I like like up above the faucet there. Um, and the original plan was to put a shelf there, but to be honest, I like the simplicity of just the tile going all the way up. It, it just looks really pretty and, and yeah, I don't really want to cover it up with a shelf and decor. So I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to come back and see if we did end up putting the shelf up or not. Traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. If you saw our previous videos for the kitchen, I mentioned, um, or I kind of asked you guys what you guys thought about the microwave on how low it was with the stove or with the range. Um, I kind of expressed that I wasn't exactly happy with it and I wanted to know your guys' opinion on that. You will be happy to know that Fred did change that cupboard out. It is a smaller cupboard now. It's probably an inch or so smaller than it really should be, but it looks so much better than the one um, because it's a 12 inch cabinet instead of the 18 inch cabinet. The 18 inch was just way too big. It made the microwave sit so low and I absolutely love how high it is now. Um, so at the end of this video, I think you'll see that. So definitely comment down below if you were one of those people that thought or that we needed to change it. Um, and let me know what you think of it now. Just 
this looking at the kitchen from this angle right here i you guys it is so light and bright and it just looks so much bigger than it did with the old cabinets it, it just amazes me uh, it just looks so beautiful and i am so excited and so happy to be sharing this with you guys and I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Um, honestly, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's our kitchen. But I do. I really hope that you guys love it just as much as we do. I don't know if you guys are interested or not. You'll have to let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you didn't just see those drawers and how full and stuff they were, I need to do some sort of organization. So let me know down in the comments if you are interested in seeing some kitchen organization. I think I'm going to head up to like Ikea um, and maybe like Walmart or Target or something like that and check out their organizing uh, bins and and trays and stuff like that so definitely let me know if you're interested in something like that because now that i am loading all these drawers and cabinets up with everything i am really noticing that the organization is non-existent and it really needs some help i know what it is you do i just want to love you i just want to hold you just want to be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You said my I'm so excited. These are the final boxes. The very last moving boxes, you guys. And you are witnessing them right now being in out oh i'm so happy if i never saw a moving box ever again in my life i would be thrilled i am so tired of these boxes sitting over here in this corner um yeah i'm so happy that they are gone gone goodbye thrown away, well, recycled technically, but they are gone and out of my house and I could not be more thrilled. So this is the shelf that I bought it. Well, this is the piece of wood that I bought. Fred actually cut it down in um, earlier, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stain it here real quick. It's about the same color of what I think or what I remember the table top being. Uh, <laughs> it I it, it's been a couple months since I've actually seen our table, so I think it's kind of like a really dark warm wood tone but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get it stained up just in case we decide to use it uh, i don't know I, i'm really really torn on putting this shelf up you guys i don't know let me know down in the comments what you think should we put the shelf up this is the shelf that would be going above the kitchen sink Next up are the poles. I'm going to go ahead and go through and measure everything. I will say these are 5 inch handles. So if you saw the little orange tool there, I actually picked that up on Amazon. 
It's a little tool that's supposed to help uh, basically measure out where your handles are supposed to go on the drawers and the cupboards. However, since I purchased these five inch, I think they're actually like a total of like seven and a quarter inches or something like that. Uh, but basically the, the holes where the screws go are five inches apart and it's too big for the cabinet measuring device. So I have to go through and literally take a, not a ruler, tape measure. Oh my goodness, it's been a long day. Uh, I have to go through and take a tape measure and literally measure every single pull out for the cupboard doors. Now it did come with a drawer one as well and the drawer one worked perfectly for the regular size drawers, um, but the bigger drawers it did not, so I had to measure those as well. I will say uh, that it was nice to have as kind of a tool or give me an idea of, of where to place the handles, uh, but overall I probably wouldn't have bought it again, and I don't know that I necessarily recommend it. Um, it also came with a drill bit, which that was kind of nice, so uh, I don't remember it being terribly expensive. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and measure all these out, and then we're going to go ahead and, and get the holes drilled. Try to say something, but there's a word I try to justify my actions, less reactions, The handles that we're using also came from Amazon and you know, they look nice, but I will say that I don't know that I necessarily recommend them. Uh, I actually, I don't even plan on linking them for you guys because <laughs> you'll see when I go to install them, I had like a handful of them, the screws just broke off. I, I don't even know how or why, but they were definitely very cheap. So, and I did. I I knew I probably shouldn't have done that, but again, we were on a very tight budget with our kitchen, and so I splurged on some things. And the handles, the handles were not something that I splurged on. Um, but eventually, I mean, I guess if we have to replace them, we'll have to replace them uh, with some nicer ones, maybe from like Lowe's or maybe an actual like kitchen remodeling store. I don't know, but. Anyway, I definitely don't recommend them. So, sorry guys, those will not be linked. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop.
during this whole process of designing and creating our kitchen, we have basically included everyone who lives here. <laughs> uh, all of our kids and everything have all had a say in the items here that have made this kitchen for us. I uh, plan on having or spending a lot of time here, so I wanted everybody involved. You will notice these handles are long. I wanted bigger handles, um, like the seven inch ones, or well, five inch technically, like the ones I bought. I originally bought three inch ones uh, and then ordered these ones as well and held them both up and let the kids and Fred help me decide <laughs> which ones we wanted to do. Overall, I, obviously it, the big ones won, or the longer ones I should say, won out. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like the longer handles or do you prefer like smaller handles or even knobs? Also, side note real quick, uh, don't do what I did and drill out a handle or a spot for a handle on a drawer that is not a drawer and not accessible there's literally like maybe an inch and a half of space between that top part of the sink cabinet and the actual sink so i already drilled it out though so we are going to uh make do and make a makeshift handle to make it fit there and cover up my screw up Wishing for the kind of love you see in magazines The illusion falls and nothing's what it seems to be The part left is hurting deep inside of me Heard a whisper someone saw you at a bar Was it the same night you had trouble with? The other problem that I had with these pulls or handles, uh, the screws, not only were they cheap and broke, but they stripped very easily. I probably should have used a regular screwdriver and hand screwed all of them in. Uh, however, y'all know I have carpal tunnel and <laughs> it, it just wasn't going to be able to do, my, my wrists just weren't going to be able to handle this entire kitchen. So I pulled out Fred's drill and I was very, very careful, very gentle with it. I didn't go full force or, you know, full down on the button. Uh, but it strips uh, a couple different screws. Thankfully, I did end up with extras because each one of the handles came with two long screws and two short screws. So you can use the long screws like on the drawers and stuff like that or in the short short screws on the cupboards or the cabinet doors. Um, but so thankfully, you know, I had some extras so I could fix this issue when I stripped them, but Again, these handles are just, I, I would not recommend ordering your handles, pulls on Amazon. I, I just, I just wouldn't. What's been broken? This ain't the first time I'll be drinking off my mind. another thing I meant to do and I don't know apparently I just got too excited and ahead of myself you'll notice on some of the cupboards well they pretty much all they all actually do have a plastic like film over them uh, to protect the doors and drawers from damage 
Well, I meant to like remove a corner of that. I didn't want to remove it all the way because when I go to paint, I want there to be some sort of protection for them uh, just in case I get splatters because I am a very messy painter. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I meant to move them out of the way when I put the handles on and yeah, like probably 75% of the cupboards I forgot so that's fun uh, trying to pull this plastic off around the handles I might just let my kids like go to town with it to be honest they led me to you every single time you look at me I lose it too why don't you come sit next to me let things happen naturally Like I said, we are almost done with this project. Yes, I know, four videos is so long, but each video is like, well, I don't know how long the, the final video is going to be, but I'm, I'm going to make sure that no matter how long it is, even if it's like 45 minutes to an hour long, every last little bit will be in that video. So uh, definitely make sure you are subscribed, hit that notification bill bell not bill uh and make sure you come back because next week we are going to work on getting the accent wall done in the dining area um technically dining room kitchen it's all the same here but anyway i'm gonna get a uh an accent wall i am so stoked for this so definitely come back you're gonna want to see it we're also gonna finish uh painting the entire kitchen room area dining the whole the whole shebang here um i'm possibly gonna be hanging curtains i haven't decided you'll find out if we hang up that shelf above the sink and of course we gotta decorate because you know we <laughs> right now it's a blank slate and i am so excited to put out some decor so definitely make sure you're subscribed you're definitely going to want to come back for that final reveal So last and final step for today's video is the toe kick, um, is that what it's called? I feel like that's what I've been calling it, but it doesn't seem right. I don't know. It's a little piece like under the cabinet that kind of covers up the little fake brown stuff under there. You know, you see, see what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, uh, Fred was just getting the pieces cut for that. We did pick up some quarter round just to help. I don't know, just, just to kind of give it a little extra something. So Fred's going to go ahead and get this installed. And then we will show you the final reveal uh, next week. This, but the final reveal for today's work. I really hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. It seems like you have. My channel is growing and we're getting a lot of new subscribers and views going on. So I hope everyone is enjoying our videos. Uh, if you are, please 
feel free to comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. It's free for you to do, but it helps me out more than you know, and I appreciate every single one of you who has been along on this journey, and I appreciate every single one of you new followers or subscribers. I am so excited for everybody to be here and to just follow along on on this little adventure of ours so anyway thank you so much for watching today guys make sure you stay tuned to check out how everything kind of comes together make sure you come back next week next saturday at 10 o'clock central time 11 o'clock eastern standard time so anyway guys until next time have a good weekend bye Best to